Oh my gosh, not now. I got Okay, really? I'm not I'm not gonna do this today. I'm not gonna do this. Hey. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Shantae's Way here today, and I'm going to be doing a video on a frequently asked question that I get on my Instagram all the time. So I decided it's about time that I give you guys a video because if I don't give you guys a video, then you're just gonna keep on asking me the question. That question is how I grew my hair in such a short amount of time. Okay, so basically, um, people who have been following me uh, for a while on my Instagram, like the people who have been there since I was at zero followers. They know that my hair was not always this long and this full. Um, basically, let me give you some background on my hair. I've been natural for four years and when I first went natural, um, I did not wear my hair curly. I would straighten it a lot, but I was still natural, but I would straighten my hair. Didn't like wearing my curls. So for the first year and a half, um, I wear my hair straight all the time. In year 2013, I decided that I was not going to keep straight my hair. I went natural in 2012. Year 2013, late 2013, I decided, no, I'm done. I'm done with straight my hair. I'm going to start actually having natural hair. So, around that time, I started to transition. I did not do a big chop. I transitioned with my hair. Uh, and I got my first diva cut. If you want to know how my experience went with my diva cut, after this video, you can go to my diva haircut um, experience. Uh, I'll put the link down in the description box so that you can get right to it. But after I got that first diva cut, I was so scared. I remember I did not want to get that haircut. I thought that my I was going to walk out my hair was going to be like right here because I had so much damage and I didn't think that my hair could get any better like i didn't even think that diva cut was gonna help me but the lady was just like you know just come in you know i'm experienced with curly hair and i i i'm pretty sure i can get you together so i finally went to the diva curl salon and i got my hair cut after i got my hair cut my hair was like my hair was up to here well probably not up to here probably like right here i'll insert a picture of my hair right here that's my hair when I first got a cut at the Diva Curl Salon. After I got my hair cut for the first time, my hair grew from that length. Literally, it took, I say, two weeks and I was seeing my hair like grow out. I was like, what? Like, why is my hair growing so fast? So I'll insert the picture of the two weeks later. Somewhere over here, I'll insert that picture. That was my hair two weeks later and my curls were popping. I was so happy, no more stringy mess. Oh my God, it was the best day of my life. I was just like, I finally love my hair. The first thing that I changed after my diva cut because I got a lot of information from that, from the hairstylist that was at the Diva Curl Salon. The first thing she told me to do was to keep my hair highly moisturized. That was my main thing, keeping my hair highly moisturized. When she told me to keep my hair highly moisturized, I listened and I started like thinking of ways to keep my hair moisturized because when I first went natural and I first started wearing my curls, my curls were super dry. They were never moisturized. You guys see on my Instagram pictures that so you're always asking me, how do I moisturize my hair? What do you do to keep your hair so moisturized? I have a whole entire video on what I do to keep my hair moisturized. But the main thing that I make sure that I do with every style, I don't care if it's a protective style, I don't care if it's a wash and go, I don't care if I'm throwing my hair up in a bun for the week. I always make sure that I seal in moisture. Sealing my hair is so important. Um, when I first went natural, I used to watch, or I still do, but she doesn't do a lot of videos anymore, but it was Hey Friend Hey, and I'll put her um, channel down in my description box. I love Hey Friend Hey. She, she's like thebomb.com. I love her. But anyways, um, she 
always talked about the importance of sealing your hair and then when I heard it from my hairstylist I was like okay this must be something that is really important with natural hair and come to find out it's very important I feel like keeping your hair highly moisturized is just like when you keep your body highly moisturized if you keep your body moisturized and hydrated of course it's gonna look beautiful you're gonna glow it's going to be strong and doesn't break easily well that's just like your hair when you have your hair highly moisturized you keep it hydrated all the time it's always going to be strong it's going to be able to grow it's going to be able to prosper of course with natural hair you're always going to have your dry days natural hair is naturally dry but you want to make sure that you're keeping it on the lower side of being dry all the time you don't want your hair to be too dry because it's prone to break more when it's super dry Also make sure that I deep condition weekly. This is very important to me because when you deep condition on the weekly basis, you're making sure that you are keeping your hair um, hydrated. Once again, there goes that word again. You got to keep your hair hydrated, and you're also making sure that you're treating your hair. Deep conditioning your hair, giving yourself um, treatments is what keeps your hair alive. You don't want to skip deep conditioning. It's a very important step that needs to be in your regimen. And I feel that if it is in your regimen, your hair is more likely to grow at a quicker rate than someone who only deep conditions, um, let's see, every month or two. With natural hair, you gotta make sure that you're deep conditioning on a weekly basis. That's a rule that I stick by, that I've always stuck by and with my natural hair while having natural hair and it's done wonders for my hair. I also do not use any shampoos on my hair when I wash my hair I cleanse it with a cleanser. If I do clarify my hair or if I do um, I only do that once a month. I usually do it with very natural products Dr. Bronner's um, magic soap which I'd use in my watch routine video and then I do the apple cider vinegar rinse which I have a video on my channel showing you exactly how I do my apple cider vinegar rinse. I basically go beyond measures to make sure that my hair is not getting dried out. I also make sure that I wash my hair on a weekly basis so I go through my wash day on a weekly basis. For my hair type, I like to wash it every week. I do not like to miss a week. If I miss a week of washing my hair, I, the longest I will go is two weeks. Keeping your hair clean and free of a lot of buildup, because of course if you have a lot of buildup in your hair, you're, you're blocking your pores, you're blocking things from getting out and growing. So you want to make sure that you're keeping your hair clean so you're not having a lot of buildup in your hair. For me, a weekly cleanse is what's necessary because if I do it I'll notice that with two weeks I'm not cleaning my hair I have a lot of buildup so by the end of the week I do have a lot of buildup and now in two weeks I'm just like at my maximum buildup and I don't like for it to get that bad with my hair so I always make sure that I clean my hair weekly When styling my hair, when washing my hair, I always make sure that I put my hair in sections and twist my hair. So washing your hair in sections ensures that you're getting every part of your hair. You're not just throwing the shampoo or conditioner on your hair, rinsing the outer layer of your hair and not getting the inside of your hair, not getting like the actual sections of your hair. You don't wanna do that. You wanna make sure that you're sectioning your hair, cleaning each section, finger detangling section, getting the soap in, actually massaging the roots and getting everything in so that your whole entire hair is getting the cleansing that it needs, is getting the type of attention that it needs. Because having curly hair, you can miss some things. So when you section your hair, it ensures that you do not miss a lot of things. So that has helped a lot with my hair growth. When I first went natural, I did not wash my hair that way. But ever since then, washing my hair in sections, which I've been doing now for a year, I have seen tremendous growth.
Another thing I do is scalp massages. I do that with coconut oil. I put coconut oil on the paddles of my hand and then I just do like a scalp massage. It feels so good and it also stimulates hair growth. So make sure if you're wanting your hair to grow, make sure you incorporate that somewhere in your regimen. I also ensure that I use very natural products. So make sure that you're keeping your products natural. Make sure that you're putting only the best in your hair because your hair only deserves the best. It doesn't need to be attacked with chemicals, okay? That's gonna stunt some growth somewhere. So we wanna make sure that we're using all natural products. That's one thing that I like to make sure of. Another thing that I do when I'm doing protective styles is I put vitamin E oil on my scalp. I use Nature Gates um, vitamin E oil. Uh, I don't think you guys can see it. I'm sorry. Um, Nature Gates vitamin E oil is really thick. It, it lasts for a long time. It is kind of expensive, but it does last for a long time. I've had this since. I've had this for a year now because you don't have to use a lot. You just have to literally put a little bit on your hand and then rub it through your scalp. And most of the time I do that when I have a protective style in. You want to make sure that you're getting a real vitamin E oil because you don't want to get one that's been processed and overheated and just doesn't even have any of its nutrients present. Make sure that you have some patience with your hair because because even if you do like all these things, if you're just now going natural, then your hair is not going to all of a sudden grow. Even if you do all these things, you have to go through getting your hair back to health. So realize that. Like I said, I just literally did all those things I told you. Always keeping a regimen intact with your hair. You continue to nurture your hair and take care of your hair. Your hair is going to grow. Growing, growing hair is not as complicated as people think it is. You just have to be consistent. Your hair needs consistency. Also, realize that when your hair is curly, it's not the true length. So it's okay if it's curly and not super, super long because you know that your hair is super long, but when you have curly hair, it shrinks. You have to get used to your hair shrinking a lot. My hair, this is not my true length. This is, my hair is a lot longer than this and I'm okay with that. I'm okay that my hair is showing this length in reality is super long but I'm okay with the fact that I have to deal with this because my hair is super healthy. If you have long hair but your hair is damaged, like I said, take however much time you want to take but eventually make sure that you get the damaged hair cut off. My four year anniversary for natural hair from my hair band natural is coming up in November. <laughs> yeah, and I'm gonna do a limp check for you guys because I think it will be fun to do a limp check. I have never done a limp check before and I think four years is long enough to see how far my hair has come. My hair has come very far. If you want to see how far my hair has come, then check out my natural hair um, journey video because Lord knows my hair was crazy looking when I first went natural. But look at me now. Fresher than a mug. I'll see you guys in my next video and remember leave some suggestions below on what you would like to see on my channel and I'll see you later bye in my last video I show you guys how I preserve my curls overnight so go check that video out I'll put the link below